Today we're going to do the adjectives as pre-modifiers. You should have your voices at playbook with you. Okay. So, please turn to page 265. You should see this page on your book. Let's use ad ad adjectives as pre-modifiers. Okay. So, Today's lesson, we are going to learn how to use uh, the adjectives as pre modifiers. Okay? You should have your pen and uh, highlighter with you. Okay, we, to create more vivid, detailed descriptions, you often use more than one adjective. So, as a general uh, rule of thumb, use only. Use only one to three adjectives each time. Okay, so let's identify what are some of the adjectives here. Okay. Okay. For example, the beautiful old ship sailed into the brilliant blue sea. So, what are the adjectives here? Beautiful. Okay, let me get a pen out again. Beautiful, old, okay. What does it describe? It describes the noun ship. Okay. What is another noun here? Sea. Okay, sea is a noun, so describe the sea. Brilliant, blue sea. Okay. So, in your mind's eye, can you see a beautiful old ship sailing into the brilliant blue sea? If you can, then this description worked. Let's read the next example. Police are looking for a tall, thin Singaporean man wearing a conical aluminum hat. So, what is the noun here? The noun here is men. Okay, the noun here is men. So describe the men using adjectives. Tall, thin, Singaporean. Okay, it describes the men. Okay, this is using adjectives as pre-modifiers. Okay, this man is wearing a hat. So hat is a noun. Describe the hat. Conical. And it's made of aluminum hat. Now, should you use a lot, a lot of adjectives? Let's take a look at the example suite. I ate a nice, delicious, huge, round, pink cheesecake. How many adjectives are there? One, two, three, four, five. Five adjectives. That is too much. Okay. So try not to use too many at one go. Use only one to three adjectives each time. Now, even though you, when you are using the adjectives, there is a particular order that the adjectives are used. So let's take a look at how the order is being done. Okay. So the order comes in this way. First... Okay, it's an opinion. What do you think of this this um particular uh object? Is it nice, good, bad, awful, intelligent, beautiful? So it's an opinion about the object. Next, it's the size of the object. Big, huge, colossal, tiny. So colossal means gigantic, very, very big. The third order of adjectives is this texture. Okay. Rough, smooth, prickly. Okay. The fourth one is the shape. Square, triangular, circular, conical. Conical is like a cone. You know how a cone looks like? Looks like that. Okay, a cone. H. Okay. Young. Youthful, ancient. Ancient means 
very, very old. You can write that down. Color. Red, blue, emerald. Emerald is like a blue-green kind of color. Beige. Okay, beige is like a skin color. Seven, origin. Where did it come from? Singaporean, American, African. Okay, where did it come from? And the last one is the material. Plastic, cashmere, cotton, wood. So adjectives are often used to create noun phrases. And this noun phrase is... Uh, Some uh, thing that you need to learn today. Okay, so the main part of a noun is the head noun. Okay, so for example, you can look here. What is the head noun here? The head noun in this example is um, puppies. Okay, puppies is the head noun. Okay, so when adjectives are placed in front of the head noun, they become pre-modifiers. So what is a pre-modifier? This pre-modifier gives additional information about the noun. So let's take a look at the example. Okay, so the head noun is puppies. Okay, and then what kind of puppy is it? Okay, so it's an opinion about the puppy. Okay, opinion about the puppy. So it would be, um, okay, the opinion of the puppy. I'll write that down. Opinion about the puppy. Remember the opinion of the puppy, uh, opinion in terms of the adjective's order is one. Let's put here one. Opinion of puppy. So it's mischievous puppies. Okay. So besides uh, this pre-modifiers, okay, now phrases can also include post-modifiers. So you'll be after that. We'll talk about that later. So what can you add the determinants? Our. How many? Six. Okay. So this is a determiner. Okay, our, whose is it? Our, okay, determiner, this one's number, six. So, what is the description about the puppies here? Our six mischievous puppies. Is it very descriptive? Can you, in your mind's eye, can you see six um, puppies barking very lively? Okay, so that is an example of uh, uh, using adjectives as pre-modifiers. Okay, so we are talking about uh, back to four. Okay, using noun phrases to create uh, sorry, let's take a look. Okay, post modifiers come after the hit now. Okay, so post modifiers come out of hate now also provide additional information about it. So let's take a look. What are the post modifiers? So where can you find the word post modifiers? Here. Post modifiers are here. Okay. So what is a post modifiers? It comes after that. For example, men, the men with the weapon. The boy in the Blue shirt. Okay. And what is the description here? The description is in the blue shirt, right? There's actually a pre modifier there, but because it's after that, so it's a post modifier. Okay. Another one. House on the corner. So which house is it? The one on the corner. Okay. Another one. Okay, what 
which woman you met yesterday. So it would be the woman we met yesterday. Okay. Who do you sorry, who do you meet yesterday? The woman we met yesterday. Okay, who built the cupboard? The cupboard that John built. So give more information about the cupboard. Okay. Is it a male or female who dis uh who discovered gravity? I mean, who discovered gravity? Okay. So who is that person who discovered gravity? Edison, right? So who is it? who is Edison? The man who discovered gravity it tells you more about who Edison is. Okay, next. Let's uh, move up. Sorry about that. Let's move up. I'll go back to that page about the post modifiers. All right. Let me make it smaller so they can see it clearly. Okay. Other than that, include um, non-finite clauses. The lady standing over there. So gives more information about the elderly girl, lady. The girl talking to Jeremy gives you more information about the girl. So this post modifiers. Next, are there any seats available? Ask. Give more information about the availability of seats. Someone helpful left me this book. Again, give you more information about who left the book. So for so pre-modifiers, what can there be? Determiners. Okay, there can be articles such as a uh, and the uh, demonstratives, this, that, these, those, possesses, my, your, his, they are, her, it's, okay, quantifiers. Quantifiers are like all, a little, another, any, both, each, either, enough, every, few, fewer, less, little, many, more, most, no, none, neither, other, some, several. And of course, the numbers, one, two, three, okay, these are quantifiers and the ordinals. First, second, tenth, last. All these are determinants. It determines what um, the noun is. Okay? Then the adjectives. We have, uh, just now we learned already the different type of adjectives, such as uh, an opinion one. Angry, bad, careful, cool. Right? Uh, also opinion. Excellent. Okay, color. Golden. Good opinion. Happy opinion, healthy opinion, oceanic opinion, rubbery will be material, unique, okay, will be opinion, sour, um, uh, opinion, sweet opinion, Singaporean origin, okay, unused uh, opinion, and wooden will be material. Okay, so these are pre-modifiers. Okay, let's take a look at the noun for pre-modifiers. More of it. So there would be like... um. Book, diamond, freedom, health, gold, milk, ocean, printer, table, Singapore, rubber, wood. All this are nouns. Okay, so let's... Put this to the test. Okay, let's do the task to see whether if you understand it. Okay, let's do the task now. So, where is the task? The task is on this page, which is 267. Okay, on page 267. Okay, I'm going to go to the page that has all the adjectives here so that it will be clearer, okay? So for this task, okay, make it bigger for you to see it. 
for the noun phrases below, underline the pre-modifiers and circle the adjectives. Rearrange the adjectives order uh, adjectives if their order is incorrect. Okay. Underline the pre-modifiers, circle the adjectives. Okay, let's see. She wore a pair of brown sensible shoes to work. So, where is the noun? This is the noun. Okay, so where are the pre-modifiers? Before the noun, right? So, the adjectives are brown and sensible. Okay, what goes first? Is it brown? Okay, brown is a color. So I just put six here. Sensible is an opinion. So I just put one. So which one comes first? It should be sensible, then followed by brown. Okay, let me type that. Uh, change the color maybe to blue. And increase the font. She wore a pair of sensible brown shoes to work. Okay. Let's do the next one. The British old huge jet plane exploded into metal small fragments upon impact. Where is the noun here? I hate noun. Jet plane. Okay, so where is the adjective? British old huge. Now, so what is the order? Okay, let's see. British is the origin, so I'll put a seven there. Okay, old is the age, so I'll put a five there. Huge is the size, so I'll put a two there. Okay, are there any more um, nouns? Okay, let's continue. Exploded into small, metal, small fragments. So, fragments is a noun. And the adjectives are metal and small. Okay, it's auto correct. Metal is a material. So, I put an 8. Small is the size. So I put 2. So, I'm going to key in the answer. Uh, the, the sentence now. Okay. Change it to the huge old British jet plane exploded into small metal fragments upon impact. Okay. Continue the next one. Young, curious Timmy found many rectangular smooth stream stones in the park. Okay. Where is the noun? Hate noun here. Hate noun is Timmy. Okay. What are the pre modifiers here? They are adjectives. Young. 
curious. Okay. So let's take a look at the order. Curious. Young, 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 sorry. Young should be the age. Curious is an opinion. Okay. Found many rectangular smooth straight stones. So where is the head now here? Stones. Okay. And um, what are the pre-modifiers here? Rectangular. Smooth, strange. So let me take a look at the order. Rectangular, that's the shape. Smooth, that's the texture. Strange, that's the opinion. So let me type it out now. Curious, young, Timmy, found, many, strange, smooth, rectangular, stones in the park. Okay, that's it. That we are done for task A. Let's move on. Let's go to task B. Identify and underline the places where an error has been made in the use of adjective. Indicate how the error can be corrected in the correction column. If no error can be found, place a tick in the column. Okay. Let's start from the first line. George pulled on a pair of orange nylon oversized pants. Okay, the hit noun. I just indicate that it's noun here. Okay. Orange. Nylon. Oversized. Orange is color. Nylon is the material. Oversized is the size. So, obviously, this is wrong. Orange, nylon, oversized. So, what is the error here? It should be... Sorry, what? It should be the correct one. Corrections. Let me write that. should be... Oversized orange nylon pants. Next, and secured them with a crimson broad belt and gaudy suspenders. Okay, secured means fastened. Huh? Okay. Crimson broad belt. Okay, I've found the it now belt. Okay, crimson is the color. Broad is the size. Okay, so that is two arrows there. Gaudy. Uh, suspenders. So suspenders is a noun describing them as gaudy, like very. Uh, how's it? Too attractive. Too attractive. So this is actually correct. So how would you correct the error? It would be broad, crimson, belt. Okay, next. With multicolored large polka dots. The shirt he had on was okay. Polka dots, head now. Multicolored is the color, so I'll put it six there. Large is the size, so 
Oh, that's wrong. So it should be large, multi, colored, then it's actually polka dot. His shirt had on was dark blue, okay, with comical numerous sharks and circling. So, where's the hint now? Sharks. Comical. Comical is like the... Um, comical is, is the opinion. Now, numerous. Numerous is actually a determiner. So, determiner. Determiner must come before the the opinion. Must have the determiner, then the adjective, then the... Okay, now. Can you recall that? No? No, let me show you again, all right? See? In the noun phrase, all right, you need to have the... Uh, Determiner, so for example, uh, numerous. Numerous is actually a quantifier, right? Then followed by adjective, then followed by the noun. Understand? Okay, let's go back to that page. What about the order? So this should be um, numerous. Oops, sorry about that. Let me get a pen out again. Numerous, comical, shots. Next, an island. He sat down in front of a rectangular ornate mirror. Okay, so mirror is the hey noun. Rectangular. Rectangular is the shape. On it means like an elaborate. So that is opinion. Okay. So what should it be? It should be on it. Rectangular. Mirror. Next, and began slapping thick, white, thick paint on his face. Oh, paint is the noun. White is the color. So that's six. Thick. Thick is the texture. So it would be thick, white. Next, no one would know that it was old good George at the party. So what's the uh, hit now here? George. George is the person hit now. Old. That's H. Okay, good opinion. So it will be good old George. Okay, he thought. He felt like a young, funny man again. Man is the hit noun. Okay, young, H. Funny, that's actually opinion. So it will be funny, young, man. All right. Okay. So, this is for task B. Now, let's continue with task C. Okay, for task C, you need to write a 50-word paragraph describing the object that you love or hate. And then you need to use noun phrases that contain adjectives as 
three modifiers in your description. So you need to use now phases conduit. Then underline the adjectives you have used. Ex okay, you can't exchange your passage, but well, uh, you can do it nonetheless. Okay, I've done a sample for you to take a look. Okay. Okay, let me just move this up a bit more. Okay, so we need to underline the adjectives that you have used. Huh? Okay. This object that I love is a Y-rate cotton piece of clothing. So this piece of clothing is a noun. It was given to me at the start of this year because my school is celebrating its 20th anniversary. Do you see any adjectives here? No. On the back of this beloved object, okay, because this is a noun, right? So beloved is the opinion of this object. There are nine huge yellow letters. So this is a noun. So where are the adjectives here? Huge. Okay, the tells you the size. Yellow. It tells you the color. Nine, is it an adjective? No, remember, this is a determiner. Nine is a determiner. Okay, can you guess what it is? You can write your guess in the comments below. <laughs> okay, so this is the... Video lesson for adjectives as pre-modifiers, and I've also went through task A, B, and C.